Okay, so what I'm working on today is the uh, hinge on the uh, 67 Chevy. Um, I should have done this before I painted it, but uh, I'll just show you. We have there's quite a bit of movement on that hinge there, so let me move it and have a look at it. So obviously the uh, bushings are worn out or gone. As you can see, it's really tight here and it's loose there. Okay, so after uh, looking on the forms, uh, vintage van form, there's some guys on there that said this uh, doorman part will fit. No, I don't. can't remember if they said we we'll have to drill out the uh, hinge or not, but I'm going to take the hinge off. I'm going to see if I can get that old pin out. Um, some guys are saying they had to get it uh, pressed out, so we'll see. Um, gonna have to repaint the hinge after probably, but it's uh, not a big deal because it does come off. I can paint it separately, so uh, I'm gonna take it off now and see what it uh, looks like. Okay, so I'm inside the van now. I got uh, two bolts here and two here. I got the door propped up on the one end here, but I'm not sure how this is gonna work, so Let's see what happens. Take that all the way out, so we're going to loosen the other ones. I'm holding the door in one hand, and I guess it's both up with the other. Bolts are done. Now, I'll try and close this door. Alright. Okay, so I got the door is closed and the hinge is loose. Let's pull this out. There's the hinge. That's the right size pin or not. Looks a lot smaller on this end. Okay, so I'm gonna cut these hinges off. Boy, there's a lot of play there. Let's see what cut through this. that side.
before I do that, I'm going to mark that hinge so I know which way it goes. Okay, just finished cutting this. All right, now well, we got that cut up. Let's have a closer look here. So that pin is in there nice and tight. I'm going to try and punch it out. It's just that side looks smaller than the rest of me. It's just tapered. Okay, well, I'm going to try punching that out with uh, just a punch and a hammer. If not, I'll have to take it and get it uh, pressed out. All right, well, we've made some progress here. Um, I didn't have to take it anywhere to get pressed out. So there's the new bushings. Now they were a little bit tight so I did drill this piece out a little bit. Just took a guess to the size of the drill bit but uh, then I just tapped these in so they're fairly snug. And uh, show you the other piece here. See how it fits. see that so that's really tight there's no movement there so now I just have to drive that pin in so I'm going to do that and make sure I have this hinge the right way obviously I'll get back to you when it's done okay well um, I got the pin in bushings are in Nice and tight, there's no movement there at all. So I did have to drill out these portion of the uh, hinge for the pin. Just lucky, I think I just took, you know, took a guess at the pin size or the drill bit size and it's tight. I had to hammer it in quite, uh, quite a bit. I had to hit it pretty hard to get, the, get it in, to get this part through. So, all in all, it worked pretty good for not being the exact pin. Um, so now I'm going to have to repaint the hinge and put it on. So once I do that, I'll uh, show you the finished product. See you later. Okay, so I got the hinge back on and uh, I'll just lift up on the door and we'll see how it looks. As you can see, there is like uh, no movement there at all. I'll just show you how the door closes. Okay, so before I did the hinges, uh, I had to actually lift up on the door to make it close properly. So I'll just show you now how it, uh, how easy it closes. And when you open it, it doesn't drop down. So that's much better. So actually I did do both hinges, did the top and bottom, so I'm going to later on take them off, paint them, there's no big rush on that, uh, maybe wait till spring. Hey, thanks for watching.